Hello guys, it is Dylan here, and today I'm going to be telling you about my experience in Nickelodeon Studios. Alright guys, as I said in the intro, I'm going to be telling you about my experience at Nickelodeon Studios, and I'm sure a lot of you don't know what I mean when I say Nickelodeon Studios. Um, the first thing your mind's going to go to is probably the kids' television network, which would make sense. It's a big television channel, and that is what it is, but it's a lot more than that. Back in the 90s, there was Nickelodeon Studios that was located in Orlando, Florida, in the Universal Studios Orlando Resort. Now, I was at the Universal Orlando Resort the other day, and I located where the old Nickelodeon Studios was. Sadly, it is not Nickelodeon Studios anymore. As you may know, Nickelodeon Studios sucks nowadays. Um, <laughs> Nickelodeon Studios, um, they're not half as big as they used to be. Even like, just five, ten years ago, they were still pretty big. Nowadays, not as much. Uh, maybe that's just me. Like, maybe I'm just saying that because, you know, I was a kid five, ten years ago that watched Nickelodeon. I don't know. Um, by the way, Drake and Josh, iCarly, all that shit. Yes, I liked iCarly. Shut the fuck up. It was good shit. It was entertaining, funny shit. Um, that stuff was okay. But the best shit, the best Nickelodeon shit was in the fucking 90s. If you guys haven't seen uh, the Nickelodeon stuff from the 90s and early 2000s, I don't know why. Like, what are you waiting for? Like, seriously, if you can, by all means, go find some old shows and watch them. Watch all of that. Watch The Amanda Show. Watch fucking Keenan and Kel. That was the fucking shit. Uh, watch all those shows. Like, those shows are fantastic. Like, I'm 15, and if those video if those shows were still around now, I'd be happy to say I still watch them. Like, those shows, they were so good. Um, and they kickstarted a lot of careers, too. Um, you know, Keenan and Kel, they both went on to be relatively uh, popular. With movies like Good Burger, which is also a Nickelodeon thing. Uh, Keenan Thompson, he, he's in everything. Um, Saturday Night Live, you see that cliche, like, not, not the cliche, but the token black guy that's on pretty much every episode, that's him. <laughs> that's Keenan. Um, anyways, what am I getting to with this whole Nickelodeon Studios thing? Alright, Nickelodeon Studios closed in the early 2000s, which sucked. Um, and now it has been replaced with the Blue Man Group. The Blue Man Group currently, you know, that's their studio now. That's where they do all their shows, that's where they keep all their props and everything. And as early as I think uh, 2010, um, probably a little bit later than that, honestly, um, as late as 2010, not as early, that doesn't even make sense. As late as the 2010s, there's been videos of people going into that building and finding old relics of Nickelodeon things. Now, sadly, those have been removed. There's nothing left in the building of Nickelodeon except one thing and I'm gonna show you that right now. Oh here it goes. This is all that's left of Nickelodeon Studios. The green slime on the floor. It's all that's left. That's it. Nickelodeon Studios used to be a big thing. But, no, just green slime on the floor. In the bathroom. Floor tiles. That's it. <laughs> um, I've been very fascinated about Nickelodeon Studios for a long time, and I was very disappointed to find out that the only thing that's there anymore from Nickelodeon is the floor tiles in the bathroom, but whatever. What can you do? Um, Saddle Nickelodeon has died, and yeah. Um, that's my video for today. Uh, I went into Nickelodeon Studios, didn't find anything, went to the bathroom, found tiles. So, interesting, disappointing, whatever. 
what are you going to do? Nickelodeon is dead. <laughs> I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Click the bell icon for the love of God. Share this video with all your friends, and I'll see you in the next video.